Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about my most used makeup. So you guys know that I do a shop my stash every three weeks and when I do that I pick out a makeup basket of products to use during that time period. So for the most part I rotate through things pretty evenly but there are a handful of staple products that never leave my basket that I use almost on a daily basis and those are the products I'm going to talk about today. Also I'm wearing my latest crochet project today. What do you guys think? Actually, the bottom half is not done. I mean, it is. I'm wearing it, obviously, but I'm going to reattach it. I don't like the way it fits on the bottom, but I thought the top half looked cute in a video, so made by me. The inspiration for this video, my eyeliners that I wear constantly. I actually mentioned this in a video that just went up, how I pretty much always use this eyeliner, but I've also, I pretty much always use this one. These three. I'm always wearing one or at least two of these. So first of all, these are the Cupid's Arrows from Nabla. I would have never expected that I would like these, but they sent these to me in PR, I was gonna say over a year ago, not over a year ago, but at some point last year. And I wasn't sure about them because they're very thick eyeliners. Here's what they look like. They're really kind of intended to be a multi-use product. You could use it as a cream shadow, you could use it as a liner, but to compare it to a standard liner width, here it is next to an eyeliner from Milani that's also a twist up. And you can see the Nabla ones are very thick. So when I first got them, I thought, I have no clue what I'm gonna do with these. I don't think I'm gonna like these. But now I basically can't do my makeup without them because what I use these for is to smudge. So if you struggle to make a wing, let me direct you towards these because with a liquid liner, you have to have that precision to make the line, like you're doing all the work there. But with these, they're just smudgy enough that you can kind of drag it out to get the wing. And that's how I have my purple wings today. Today, I'm wearing the shade three. There's two more. They have, actually I have the other one. They also have this light pink one. This is number one. I hardly ever use this. They have a black one too, I don't have. But what I do, I take a little bit of this in the outer corner and then take a liner brush and drag it out until I get a winged line. Perfect wings every single time. Now, not a lot of liners are like creamy enough to do that with, but these, perfect for it. Whenever I'm wearing a purple look, I wear number three, which I'm wearing today. And then most days I wear the brown, which is number two. So I can't recommend these highly enough. I pretty much can't do my makeup without these anymore. The next one is another liner. This is from Koki. I mentioned this in a recent favorites video. This is the shade Gilded Gold. Okay, if you have brown eyes, if you have, okay, actually if you have any color eyes, if your eyes are blue, this will make them pop. If your eyes are green, this will make them pop. Any eye color, this will make your eyes twinkle. So I did a video for my TikTok sharing like my eyes before I apply this and after, and I'll pop the video on so that you guys can see it. I pretty much wear this all the time and whenever I wear this, I get comments like, are your eyes green? Because it just brings out those undertones in your eyes. It almost makes the color look different because it's gonna make them twinkle so much and it's so affordable, it's a drugstore liner. I wear this almost every single day. Today I wore a purple liner in my waterline. If you're wondering the shade, it's Urban Decay Love Drug, but I almost did this, but I was like, no, do purple with your purple eyeshadow. A concealer that I've been using almost daily with other concealers is this one from e.l.f. So this is their Flawless Brightening Concealer. I mentioned this in, I wanna say my 2020 favorites video. So I have two shades. I have the shade Fair 15W, plus I have the next shade down. This one I use all the time to mix in. So I'll take more of a full coverage concealer. Like today I took the Too Faced Born this way and I just put a dot in each inner corner. And then I take this because it's a very, very light coverage concealer. And I just kind of like drag it out, but the shade of it is really bright. So it's great for brightening. But because it's not thick, it's not full coverage, it's not gonna look heavy. So I feel like this mixes so well with other more full coverage concealers. So you can use less of that, but still get the brightening effect that you want. Sometimes I use these as just my concealer, but just know it is pretty light coverage. So I would save that for more of a natural look. But I also have used this before to like clean up and like if I did cream bronzer and it got way too low and I'm like, oh, we need to clean this up. I could do a few lines, blend it out. This is like a magic eraser for your makeup. Like when I've gone outside my lip line, when I've made my eyebrows a little too wonky, you just do a little line of this and tap it in. Now with other concealers, when I do that, 
there's like such a noticeable line because most concealers are intended to be a fuller coverage product, but because this is a light coverage concealer, it does the trick without making it really noticeable that there's a ring of concealer. But this is an everyday product for me, just like this. So I have a couple color correctors that I like. I love the Becca one, as do most of us, or I know a lot of people like that one. I also love the Flower Beauty one. They have one in a pot, also very similar to Becca, but this is from Essence. I think this is being discontinued. I've seen it on sale, so if you want it, grab it quickly, I would suggest, but this is from their High Beauty collection they launched last year. They sent me most of the collection in PR, and I've gotta be honest, most of it was very bad. I gave them very poor reviews, but this was the standout, plus the powder. I liked that as well, but this I use constantly. So this is a color corrector. The color of this is almost identical to the Becca color corrector, the lighter one. This, just like the Becca, comes in two shades. So I have a lot of darkness right on the inner corner of my eyes right here, a lot of blue. That's where a lot of us have the most blue. So I usually do a dot on both sides. And when you do that, you need way less concealer. I also wear this on days when I'm not doing concealer or maybe I'm not doing a lot of product in general and I just want to color correct a little bit. I reach for this so much. Everyday brows. So if you watch my Project Pan series, you know that my everyday brow product for like a year and a half now has been the Arch Nemesis from Pure Cosmetics. This is my never ending brow pencil. I cannot seem to go through it. So the base of my brows is always this pencil. But these two, actually, these three also go in the brows. So I, let me tell you about my eyebrows. I don't have any, okay? They don't exist. They are very blonde, they are very thin. So I use a lot of products and the way I describe my brow is, let me know if your eyebrows are the same way, it's like the hair on my head. Like some days you have a good hair day and it just works and you don't really have to try that hard. But some days your hair just will not cooperate. You could do everything the exact same as normal but it does not work and you have to pull in like all the other tools. That's how I feel with my eyebrows sometimes. Some days they work but more often than not, it's a struggle. It's hard having no eyebrows, okay? So these, this, uh, these are my magic weapons. First of all, e.l.f clear brow glue. So many drugstore products in today's video. Most of these very affordable. This between one and three dollars. Depends where you get it. If you want to get it for a dollar, check out the Dollar Tree. But this does a great job at like gluing them down. It can be a little shiny, but if you don't mind that, this is such a good job to just slick them down. Next on the brow list, the Milani Weekend Brow. This is one of those brow markers. And let me just tell you, this is kind of like my other pure cosmetics brow pencil that will never end. This I bought last summer and it's still going strong. I would have guaranteed that this would have dried up by now, but nope, still going strong. Perfect for those hair-like strokes. And then the one I've been loving so much recently is this one from Flower. This is their brow gel and it has fibers in it. So it's similar to the Essence Make Me Brow that I've loved for years, but this has kind of replaced it for me because I feel like it has more fibers and it makes them look thick. So sometimes I'll get to a point where it's like, okay, it just kind of looks like I have a bunch of product in my brows and not hair. I do a layer of this and then I just think it makes everything look more natural, like maybe it is real hair. Okay, the lips. I have a lot of lipstick in my collection, not like a ton, but I've got a variety of shades, but there are like two lipsticks that I wear constantly, all the time, and about three lip liners that I wear all the time. Like truly, I could get rid of everything in my collection and keep what I'm about to show you, and then I would be able to create any look I ever wanted. So lip liner, again, drugstore. This is from Essence. This is like a $3 lip liner, and it's so good. This is the shade Tea Time. I'm wearing this today and I took just a tiny bit of the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Cream, put it in the center. It's beautiful. Whenever I want this like 90s mauve type of like reddish undertone, this is the one I reach for. Here's a swatch of it. It just has that really beautiful red undertone. It's super creamy also. My next one, do you guys wanna see how much of this I have? I have gone through, I think, two or three of these at this point. This That's all I have left. This is Koki Warm Nude. If you've been around here for any length of time, you have probably heard me talk about this one. Now, Warm Nude is really great if you have a light skin tone, but I wanna say the shade Nude. I think I have that one too. That one's a little bit darker. They have a bunch. 
Yeah, let me try nude next to it just to show you. No, nude isn't really darker. It's actually just more neutral, you can see. Love them both. Love all the Kogi lip liners, also Dusty Rose, you know. But my recent one that I've been wearing almost every single day that I cannot recommend highly enough is Nude Truffle from NYX. If you love a good lip combo, this is perfect. Okay, if you have kind of a lighter skin tone, you might find this to be like a mid-tone nude, but if you're more of a medium skin tone, this might be a great everyday nude. But NYX has these in so many colors. There's something for everyone. But this shade in particular, I have been using almost daily. I feel like it's almost replaced all the other ones. And I usually pair it with this. Do you guys remember when the soft matte lip creams were all the rage? These were everything. Well, I recently repurchased one for a video. It was like earlier this year. And I bought the shade London and it has turned into my almost everyday nude lip. So there's London. Do you guys remember when this was all the rage? I feel like everyone would talk about London. Oh, we're bringing it back. It's still just that good. It's comfortable. It's not as dry as other liquid lipsticks. And then for the last probably six or seven months, by, by far my most worn lip color that I feel like I wear at least two times a week, at least, is Bite Sugar Cane. And based on my lipstick collection, wearing something at least like two to three times a week, that's a lot. So this is Bite Sugar Cane. It's a pinky nude. There's the swatch of it right there. I usually pair this with Koki Dusty Rose Lip Liner, but you could also pair it with a deeper lip liner if you wanted it to not look quite as light. Let's see how much of this I have. Oh, there's actually a lot left. There's a ton of product in here still, but I'm shocked because I use it so much. This I wear pretty much anytime I wear a pink look, a purple look, a blue look, anything with a cool undertone to it on the eyes. I always struggled to find something to pair it with that wasn't too pink, but it wasn't too nude. But sugar cane, that's the answer. Those are my go-tos. They pretty much never leave rotation. I use most of these on at least a weekly basis, but a lot of like the eyeliner products, the concealers, the brows I use on a daily basis. So while I'm rotating most of my other products, these are pretty consistent in my routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I'd love to see you again. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.